In this video, I will talk about how Johannes Kepler, a mathematician, discovered the three laws of planetary motion. Johannes Kepler looked for patterns in everything. Peering at astronomical tables describing the looped motions of Mars projected on the sky, he discovered three laws that govern the orbits of the planets. He described how planets follow elliptical orbits and how more distant planets orbit more slowly around the Sun. As well as transforming astronomy, Kepler's laws laid the foundations for Newton's law of gravity. As the planets orbit around the Sun, the closest ones move more quickly around it than those further away. Mercury circles the Sun in just 80 Earth days. If Jupiter traveled at the same speed it would take about 3.5 Earth years to complete an orbit when, in fact, it takes 12. As all the planets sweep past each other. When viewed from the Earth some appear to backtrack as the Earth moves forward past them. In Kepler's time, these retrograde motions were a major puzzle. It was solving this puzzle that gave Kepler the insight to develop his three laws of planetary motion. Patterns of Polygons Kepler was a German mathematician who lived in the late 16th and early 17th centuries, a time when astrology was taken very seriously and astronomy as physical science was still in its infancy. Religious and spiritual ideas were just as important as observation in revealing nature's laws. A mystic who believed that the underlying structure of the universe was built from perfectly geometric forms, Kepler devoted his life to trying to tease out the patterns of imagined symmetrical polygons hidden in nature's works. Kepler's work came almost a century after Polish astronomer Nicholas Copernicus proposed that the Sun lies at the center of the universe. This is because the Earth orbits the Sun, rather than the other way around. At first, Kepler adopted Copernicus's heliocentric idea, believing that the planets moved around the Sun in circular orbits. He envisaged a system in which the planet's orbits lay within a series of nested crystal spheres spaced according to mathematical ratios. These scalings were derived from the sizes of a series of polygons with increasing numbers of sides that fit within the spheres. The idea that nature's laws followed basic geometric ratios originated with the ancient Greeks. Trying to model the orbits of the planets to support his geometric ideas, Kepler used the most accurate data available, intricate tables of the planet's motions in the sky. These tables were painstakingly prepared by Tycho Brahe. In these columns of numbers, Kepler saw patterns that made him revise his thoughts and suggested his three laws. Kepler got his breakthrough by disentangling the retrograde motion of Mars. Every so often the red planet would reverse its path in the sky and perform a small loop. Copernicus had modeled the loops by adding to the main orbit small extra turns from circular epicycles superimposed on it. But Kepler found that the accurate measurements he took did not match those predictions. Seeking another explanation he had the brainwave that the backward loops would fit if the planet's orbits were elliptical around the sun and not circular as had been thought. Ironically this meant that nature did not follow geometric shapes, as Kepler had first imagined. But he was brave enough to accept the evidence and change his mind. Kepler's Laws First law, planetary orbits are elliptical with the sun at one focus. Second law, a planet sweeps out equal areas at equal times as it orbits the sun. Third law, the orbital period scales with ellipse size, such that the period squared is proportional to the major axis length cubed. Orbits In Kepler's first law, he noted that the planets move in elliptical orbits with the sun at one of the two foci of the ellipse. His second law describes how quickly a planet moves around its orbit. As the planet progresses along its path, it sweeps out an equal area segment every time. The segment is measured using the angle drawn between the Sun and the planet's two positions, AB or CD, like a slice of pie. Because the orbits are elliptical when the planet is close to the Sun it needs to cover a larger distance to sweep out the same area than when it is further away. So the planet moves faster near the Sun than when it is distant. 
Kepler's second law ties its speed with its distance from the sun. Although he didn't realize it at the time, this behavior is ultimately due to gravity accelerating the planet faster when it is near the sun's mass. Kepler's third law goes one step further by telling us how the orbital periods scale up for different sized ellipses at a range of distances from the sun. It states that the squares of the orbital periods are proportional to the cube power of the longest axis of the elliptical orbit. The larger the elliptical orbit, the slower the period takes to complete an orbit. So planets further from the Sun orbit more slowly than nearby planets. Mars takes nearly two Earth years to go around the Sun, Saturn 29 years, and Neptune 165 years. In these three laws, Kepler managed to describe the orbits of all the planets in our solar system. His laws apply equally to anybody in orbit around one another. This includes comets, asteroids, and moons in our solar system planets around other stars, and even artificial satellites whizzing around the Earth. For centuries after he proposed to them, his laws are still a mainstay of physics. Moreover, Kepler was ahead of his time in that he was one of the first to use the scientific methods that we use today. These methods are to make and analyze observations to test theories. Kepler succeeded in unifying the principles into geometric laws, but he did not know why these laws were held. He believed that they arose from the underlying geometric patterns of nature. It took Newton to unify these laws into a universal theory of gravity.